Okay, hi, I'm Chris and Chris and welcome to So Cool Science. Science you can do right at home. I'm just checking out this bird on a wire and going over today's science file. And today's science file, it says, Why are birds able to sit on power lines and not get electrocuted? Well, that's an awesome question. Try this. You will need some copper wire, a couple of pens, a couple of jars, some sand, a 5 volt LED, second 5 volt LED with a resistor, and a 6 or 9 volt battery. Start by getting yourself two uninsulated copper wires that are about 30 centimeters long each. And then grab two pens. Wrap the wire around one pen and then wrap the wire around the second pen. Do the same thing with the second wire, wrapping the wire around both pens. Now get yourself two containers filled with sand and place your pens in the sand. Now take your first LED and attach it to one side of the open wires. Take the other side and attach that to a 6 volt battery, which will light your LED. Okay, so now that you have your power line model set up, you're going to get yourself a little birdie. I mean, uh, a second LED. <laughs> With your second LED, you're going to grab a resistor and you're going to attach the resistor to that LED. Let's say that your little birdie decides to land on our power line. Little birdie doesn't fry. Now let's say the little birdie happens to accidentally touch both lines at the same time. Oop! Little birdie fries! <laughs> Okay, so why does the little birdie, I mean uh, the, the, uh, the LED, <laughs> light up when it touches both of the wires, but it doesn't light up when it touches only one of the wires? And what does this have to do with how birds are able to sit on power lines and not cook? Well, don't look at me. Take a closer look at this. When you put the LED on the upper and lower wires at the same time, you create a circuit where electrons can pass from the upper wire down to the lower wire, which is why the LED lights up. When you put the LED on one wire, the electrons in the LED are flowing towards the second LED. Since they're flowing in the same direction, they're not creating a circuit, which is why birds can sit on power lines and not get electrocuted. Electromagnetic generators make electricity by spinning a coil of wire inside an iron cage that has a north pole and a south pole. When electrons in the coil of wire come near the north pole side of the magnet, they get pushed away from the north pole. When the electrons come near the south pole of the magnet, they get pulled on. So, if side B is being pulled on by the south pole, the electric flow will flow out of side B and into side A. As side A rotates over to the south pole side of the magnet, side A is now being pulled on by the south pole instead of pushed on, which means now the electric current will flow out of side A and into side B. This change between sides pushing and pulling on the electric current is why we call this alternating current. So now you know more about alternating current. You know, being able to see why birds can sit on power lines and not get fried is why science is so cool.